Hey there humans, Bob here with another Destiny 2 video and in today's video we're going to be showing you a little trick to maximise your output with your weapons and stop you from running out of ammo. This little tidbit is for those who are struggling to output damage and hold their own in endgame content. But this isn't just for newcomers to the game as I've shared this with veterans of Destiny and even they didn't know about this until I told them. So how do you actually do this trick? Well, it's pretty simple actually. All you need to do is make sure that you're running two special weapons and one heavy. Now, you might be thinking, why would I do that? Surely I'm going to run out of ammo. But let me explain why you won't, at least not as quick as you think you will. Basically, the way things work in Destiny is when you are using a special weapon and you get a kill, you have a heightened chance of receiving heavy ammo. This also works in reverse. If you get a kill with a heavy weapon, you have a heightened chance of generating special ammo. So basically, when you equip a special weapon in your kinetic weapon slot and in your energy weapon slot, each time you use one of those weapons, you have an increased chance of generating heavy ammo. So what you want to do is each time you kill an enemy is keep an eye on your ammo levels and when your special gets a little low switch your heavy then when you kill ads with your heavy weapon you'll generate special ammo the kicker is here when you generate special ammo if you have two special weapons equipped you'll actually get ammo for both of those weapons when picking up green ammo bricks on top of this, rather than running one or even two weapons that use primary ammo, like I've seen a lot of players do, both of your special weapons will generally be more powerful than the primaries, increasing your damage output. And that's literally the basis of the trick. But it doesn't end there. You can tweak this setup even more by making sure you have the right weapons and the right mods. For my setup, I use the Riptide Fusion Rifle in my Kinetic slot for a few reasons. Number one, it's one of the only Fusion Rifles that you can get to drop in the Kinetic slot, but it can also drop with the Chill Clip perk. What this perk does is when you get direct hits with the top half of the magazine, it will cause a detonation that slows nearby targets. Combine this with the fact that it's a stasis weapon, it can actually slow and freeze every single champion. This is basically a utility weapon that allows you to stop barriers from raising their barriers, stop overloads from using their abilities, and well, stop the unstoppables. In the next slot, I use Wave Splitter. This is an exotic Void Trace Rifle that receives a period of maximum power that starts with an automatic reload that can suppress targets when you pick up an Orb of Power. Combine that with the Void Cypher mod on your helmet and as soon as you get rapid kills with this weapon, you'll generate an Orb that instantly reloads and overpowers this weapon. An alternative in this slot is the Hollow Denial Void Trace Rifle, which is legendary and craftable, if you got it when the Red Borders were dropping. If you don't have one, then I recommend the Wave Splitter or another Trace Rifle that you enjoy. If you do have the Hollow Denial or the Riptide, make sure to either craft or roll it with the Lead from Gold perk, as this will grant you 25% of your maximum special ammo reserves on the weapon you roll it on, making this cycle even more insane. For my third slot, I use the Commemoration Machine Gun as it's a great Void LMG and coupled with the Void Siphon mod that I have on my helmet, it helps me to generate even more orbs, which in turn help the Wave Splitter. Realistically, you're probably better running the Hollow Denial Trace Rifle, but again, if you don't have the Hollow Denial, that's a bit hard to do at this point in the game. If you do have the Hollow Denial, however, you might want to use an exotic power weapon just to help increase your overall damage output. On top of all this, if you add the Heavy and Special Ammo Finder mods on your helmet, you'll make it even easier to get your ammo back while still outputting a ton of damage with these stronger weapons. And that's it. If you're going to try this out, make sure to drop a like on the video and come back and let me know in the comments below if it worked for you. And if it didn't, then you can turn that like into a dislike. Also, if you're looking for tips, tricks, builds and more for Destiny 2, then make sure to check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Remember to like and subscribe. And as always, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.